Everybody loves going to the movies, unless they don't. Although I think that same piece of logic applies to most aspects of life, like that rat that the pet store owner told you was a chinchilla. I mean, we're all aware that it doesn't make any sense to go to the movies, because a lot of times you gotta choose between feeding your kids and whatever Pixar's put out this year. In my opinion, the latter is always the better choice. Movies are expensive. I mean, you can't even buy your kids some popcorn unless you sell the dog for some extra cash first. And if you do decide to throw away your hopes of a college education and get some popcorn, at some places they only offer you one refill. I mean, how much can another handful of kernels be setting you back? That stuff can't be all that expensive. And you know what? It isn't. I looked it up and you can get five pounds of it for only $12. And I'm not talking cheapo stuff. I'm talking the good stuff. Redenbacher. And when I do finally go up there to get my rations, you guys take forever and make me miss the movie, which is really just a sideshow to the concession experience. But even still, this is like your only purpose in life. You guys have done this enough times to know better than to ask me for more butter. I mean, I can handle my weight without your help. You guys have refilled like half a million different containers of popcorn in your life. And out of those, how many people said no to the butter question? Four? Maybe? Balance of probability says everyone wants some. And even those people who would have said no sure aren't going to complain. Because if we're being honest, popcorn really isn't that great. All it is is a sodium holder. The only reason we eat it is because butter. And that's probably the reason you still eat your mom's cooking. And some places now have like a butter dispenser. When I go to my theater, they now know to send a guy after me with a refill. But there really isn't a reason to go to the movies when in three months you can watch it from the comfort of your home in gym shorts with a gallon of sweet tea and no hairy guy breathing down your neck next to you, but there always will be someone with an iPad in front of you watching another movie. I mean, Sprint itself asks you to please silence your cell phones. When you don't do it, you make Sprint upset. But the real reason that I think a lot of people don't pay attention to those messages is because they're already on their phone by the time they start coming up. Or they're in the middle of their $12 nap before the theater starts running the commercials. <laughs> messages is because they're already on their phones by the time they start the time to join stands to barn stands to be standing to the end. Share the video. Is that funny? I thought it might be, but you know, I wasn't sure.